Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Gate Engineering Online Learning Classes. In this video, we will discuss a couple of problems on zero diode. We have given, this is the first example, we have given a circuit diagram as voltage regulator. This is the zero diode connected in the reverse biasing. Applied voltage is 6.3 volt, series voltage, is, series resistance is 12 ohm. Zener voltage is 4.8 volt and Zener current range is given 5 milliampere to 100 milliampere. So in this questions, we need to find the range of the load current and the range of the load resistance. It means we need to find the IL min to IL max. So minimum value of the load current and the maximum value of the load current. Similarly, we need to find the RL min and RL max. It means minimum value of the load resistance and maximum value of the load resistance. So first we understand the concept of the Zener diode. Zener diode is conducted in the reverse bias. Here diode is connected in the reverse bias. And voltage across diode should be greater than uh, across greater than Vz to conduct the diode. So here uh, we need to find the load resistance and load current uh, in the condition when Zener diode is conducted. Zener diode is the on condition. So in the on condition, Zener diode is replaced by a voltage source with a value of 4.8 volt. So here we have 4.8 volt. The voltage will be the same voltage will be in the resistance load resistance that is 4.8 volt because Zener diode is connected in parallel to the load resistance so in parallel voltage is same therefore Zener voltage is same as the load voltage or we can say that load voltage is same as the Zener voltage which is 4.8 volt in this case now here at this node potential is 4.8 volt and here current I am assuming it is IR so uh, if we uh, apply the nodal at this node, if we apply the nodal at this node, we can see the current IR is entering to the node and IZ and IL are leaving from the nodes. So IZ plus IL. Current IR is equal to IZ plus IL. And IR can, IR can be easily calculated by the potential difference divided by resistance. So here IR is equal to 6.3 minus 4.8 divided by 12. So, potential across the 12 ohm resistor is 6.3 minus 4.8 divided by resistance is 12. Then we are getting the current IR, and this value is equal to uh, 1.5 divided by 12, which is equal to 0.125 ampere. So, IR is 0.125 ampere, IZ range is given. We can we need to find the IL. So, here we can write the two equation one is the IR is equal to IZ min plus IL max because when general current is the minimum load current will be maximum or when general current is minimum, maximum load current will be minimum or another relation will be IZ max is plus IL min therefore we are getting the expression for IL minimum or IL maximum IL minimum is equal to IR plus IR minus IZ max and from here, we can calculate the IL min, which is equal to IR is, IR is 0.125. And if we write it in the milliampere, because general current is given in the milliampere, so this IR is nothing but 1, 125 milliampere minus IZ max is 100. So IL minimum is the 25 milliampere. Now to find the IL max, IL max will be IR minus IZ min. IR is 125 milliampere and IZ min is given as 5 milliampere. So here it is 120 milliampere. So in this question we get we got the range of the IL which is greater than is equal to greater than is equal to 25 milliampere because minimum value is 25 milliampere and maximum value is 120 milliampere. So IL is equal to 25 to 120 milliampere. Now we need to find the range of the load resistance. So load voltage is same as the general voltage which is 4.8 volt and load resistance will be VL divided by IL. By using the Ohm's law, we can easily, we can easily, say, easily say that resistance is voltage divided by current. So for the calculation of RL minimum, it will be VL divided by IL maximum. So VL divided by IL maximum, it means VL is the 4.8 and IL maximum is 120 milliampere from here RL minimum is equal to 4.8 divided by 120 and we are getting this value is 40 ohm so I RL minimum is the 40 ohm to calculate the RL maximum it will be VL divided by IL 
minimum. So VL is 4.8, IL minimum is 25 milliampere and here RL max will be 4.8 divided by 25, you will get 192 ohm because uh, currents are in the milliampere and we will get 0 0.192 uh, kilo ohm. So we are writing directly 192 ohm here. So we have a range of RL that is greater than is equal to 40 ohm, less than is equal to 192 ohm. So this is the one answer for this question for the range of the load resistance. This is the another answer for this question for the range of the load current. So what I have done in this question, so in this question, first we find out the load voltage, which is same as the Zener voltage, then apply it the nodal and this is at a node, here IR is equal to IZ plus IL. Then we find out the IR by applying the potential difference and uh, divide by resistance. We got the IR, then IL minimum is calculated by IR minus IZ max, and IL minimum is calculated, IL maximum is calculated by IR minus IZ min. Thereafter, by applying the Ohm's law, we also got the resistance value. Let me discuss the second problem. In the second problem, we have given a Zener diode again as a voltage regulator, and we have also given the power rating of Zener diode. Power rating means its maximum power of the Zener diode, which can be tolerated by the diode. So here, maximum power is 400 milliwatt of the Zener diode. We need to find the value of the load resistance to stabilize the maximum power in Zener diode. So first of all, we have given the Zener diode power is 400 milliwatt, milliwatt voltage across the Zener diode is 10 volt. So to find out the load resistance, we require the value of the load current and value of the load voltage because load resistance is nothing but the load voltage divided by load current. Resistance is voltage divided by current. To find out the load resistance, we require the voltage and current value of the load resistance. So uh, here, uh, potential across the Zener diode is 10 volt, so VL is also 10 volt. So VL is also 10 volt because volt, load voltage is same as the Zener voltage. Now, uh, to find out the load current, we require an equation. But if you apply the KCL at this node, this is IR, this is IZ. So IL is equal to IR minus IZ. We need to find the IR and IZ to find out the value of IL, then only we can find out the value of the RL. So IZ can be easily calculated by the power formula and power formula is what? PZ is equal to VZ IZ. So IZ will be PZ divided by VZ. PZ is 400 milliwatt and VZ is 10. So it is 40 milliampere. So IZ is 40 milliampere in this case. Now to find out the value of the IR, we'll apply the same concept that we applied in the previous problem. That is the voltage difference divided by resistance. Potential at this node is 20. Potential at this node is 10. So it is 20 minus 10 divided by 220. We will get 10 divided by 220, which is equal to IR is nothing but here. It is 45 milliampere, 0 0.045 milliampere. That is 45 milliampere. So we got the IR, we got the IZ. Now we can easily calculate the IL by using this formula. So IL can be calculated by IR minus IZ. So IR as we calculated that was that was 45 milliampere and IZ is 40 milliampere. So it is 45 minus 40, which is 5 milliampere. So IL is equal to 5 milliampere. Now we need to find the load resistance value that is load voltage divided by load current. And load voltage is 10 volt here you can see and load current is 5 milliampere so it is 10 divided by 5 we are getting 2 kilo ohm your current in the milliampere so load resistance is 2 kilo so this is the answer for this question so for solving this question what we have done so for solving this question what we have done we have calculated uh, we need to find out the resistance value so to find out the resistance we require the VL and IL because load resistance is the voltage divided by current so first we find out the voltage, load voltage that is same as the Zener voltage, it is 10 volt. After that, we after that, uh, after finding out the load voltage, we need to find the load current. So here we can apply the nodal analysis and we can write IL is equal to IR minus IZ. And to find out the IL, we require the IR and IZ. IZ can be easily calculated by the given information of the power and voltage. So IZ is 
power divided by voltage that is the 40 milliampere and ir is the potential difference divided by resistance so we got the ir that is 45 milliampere and ir is the ir minus ij it is 45 minus 40 which is 5 milliampere so load resistance is a vl divided by il which is 2 kilo ohm i hope it is very clear to all of you so these are the two problems that we discussed based on the genotype and uh, thank you so much for watching this video